Scion TC Coupe. We're gonna hand cut this one. I got a 24 inch roll, Pro Nano 35 right now. I'm gonna unroll this. I typically do these on the passenger side, but I messed up the driver's door. So we're gonna recut this and cut it over here. First step, obviously get some film on the car. Then we're gonna line up the very bottom edge of the window right along that seal. It just helps keep it stable. And 24 inch roll is definitely too tall for this. We're gonna get rid of some extra film right there. Toss that aside. Now we're gonna make a cut. Doesn't matter if you make it on this side or this side, but you want this much blade poking out. Just the first click. Go about an inch down from the top, poke that little blade in there, just in that little roll, and you're gonna go straight down. Tear away. And we're gonna drag this over about a quarter of an inch. Go over to this side, we're gonna make that exact same cut. A little bit of blade, poke that in. There you go. Make that cut, drag it back over. And you got half as much overlap on each side of the window. Now, that's resting on the bottom. We can pull this down a little bit. Doesn't have to go super far. So now we got a little overlap on left, a little overlap on right, a little overlap on the bottom. Spray, tack this in place so it doesn't move. And we're gonna go around to this side. You wanna pull up on your film so it doesn't catch on a seal. We're gonna roll this down about an inch or two. Then we're gonna switch on over to the green knife. So on this one, I'll do about three clicks, sometimes four. We're gonna make this top edge cut. The reason why it's a plastic knife is I can press this right against the film. Really thin, sharp carbon blade. Make this cut. Slides really nice, less snagging. Easy peasy. Makes cutting a top edge way easier. Tear this away. Now, we've got corners to cut. So we're gonna go over to the glass board. You can do this on the car if you want. If you have a glass board, that's better. I don't need this anymore. This is from an earlier project. Oops, oh. Spray that. Do this. There we go. So I got all my corners kind of together. Biggest thing is just making straight edges. So let me grab a ruler here. That's nice and convenient. I like when that happens. Follow this edge straight up, just right like that. And then this one, I'm just gonna go straight over. So line that up, go straight over, right like that. And always fine tune it if you have to around that corner, down here, around this corner, over here, straight, around the corner. And then this is that leading front edge, that's really why I ended up doing this. Right like that, shave it down just a little bit farther. Perfect. There's all my corners. I'll often do that on the car when I don't have a glass board. Light cuts, you're not gonna hurt anything. Just be careful. Spray the window. Now we're gonna set this up for shrinking. So for shrinking, I'll set this up about an inch away from the bottom. Get as much film as you can on the glass, but don't overlap this necessarily so you can squeegee this all out and force everything towards the center. Lighter squeegees in the middle and you're forcing all those little fingers to pop up along the bottom. And I'm gonna hop over here, grab my heat gun. Heat gun on high. I'm gonna grab this corner, knuckles against the glass, use tension. You'll notice it lifts right off the window. 
Dig about three or four inches away from there. Heat gun's high. Just point it right at the bottom. Right at the bottom. Go straight across. And you're just getting that very bottom to tighten up. You see some little ripples happening in the film. Just so when you do that, it tightens up on the glass. Make sure it's nice and flat. And your window is shrunk. Then I'll take this, just kind of place it down there. It's time to go and clean the inside of the window. So for cleaning, I already did it. So I don't have to do it again if I don't want to. But to show you guys, oh hey, there's a razor blade right there. I needed that. I'll start with the bottom edge. So that's why I put the film down. We'll roll this all the way up and make sure that this is scraped. I typically opt for razor blades because then I know my glass is completely scraped. Stickers here. Get all that kind of stuff removed. Roll it down. Top edge now. That's gonna be our next thing. It's gonna be dirty. So, take a rag or a scrub pad or anything. Go over that top edge really thoroughly, especially on cars that have a few years on them because that's the kind of stuff that you're gonna pull off of it. You'll go over it a few times until it's completely clean or much, much lighter to where you're not really gonna brush any dirt off of it anymore. Finish scraping the rest of the window. Just make sure you don't have any adhesive or stickers or gunk. And then we'll go through all the tools that you need to tin a window. So I like to use this Blue Max as my cleaning squeegee. You can use just one squeegee for everything. You don't have to use two. But start at the top, overlap a little bit, all the way down. Basically you're sweeping it and then everything's dry. If you're leaving big streaks behind, you're not squeegeeing hard enough or you need a new squeegee. Try edge, flex this against the glass, sweep down, and you've swiped everything off. Flush the corners, give the window a good coat. Now you can peel the tint. Peel this off. I like to place it right in this void right here. Sorry, let me move that back down. I like to place it right in this void right here. That way there's not a bunch of dirt rushing into my pattern. I'm gonna peel this corner and I'll pull it straight down. Don't pull it off the glass, just pull it straight down. And keep this straight across. Go about halfway here, go about halfway there. Pick it up off the window. And then we're gonna be worried about the left side first here. Honestly, just because that's the long edge, that's gonna be the easiest side to handle first. The other side is basically just hanging off the window right now. Roll just the tint portion up. We're gonna slide that into my seal. And we're gonna start putting some film back on the glass, see where it lines up. On this side, same thing. Roll that up, tuck it into the side seal, and we're gonna fine tune this pattern as close as we can to the top edge. It's gonna wiggle a little bit, it's gonna move around until we get it locked in place. So that's kinda up there. I'm gonna grab my hybrid installation squeegee. Worry about that very top part of the window. I don't have to squeegee out this part, I just wanna squeegee up here. Start kind of in the center, work your way out. And then the whole time you're watching how it goes over this edge, you wanna get it as close as you can without going over. So that's where you're just fine tuning it as you go. Then I'll take my tri edge again, flex it, squeegee straight up this time. Same thing for this side, flex it, squeegee straight up. Just make sure this is nice and tacked down. So I'll go over this typically twice. First time is a light 
lighter tack just to make sure you get it in place. You get the majority of the water out, but still, it's a lighter tack just to make sure it's gonna line up and you can fine tune that edge. Then it'll really start to tack up and you give it a much harder swipe, getting out all the extra water, air bubbles, anything. Dry off the top edge if you want. Give it a little wiggle test. If it still wiggles, just hang back, let it chill for a little bit. It'll dry out. Or you can take a heat gun to like the upper areas. But honestly, if you just wait a little bit, it'll tack up. It's not moving, cool. So that means we can roll up a window. Peel this back. Flush out underneath. And we're gonna peel this liner. So what I'll do is I'll hold my hand here pull with my other one, and I'm always supporting the tint wherever it's meeting, and I'm pulling out at an angle here. Then I get to that other corner, and I pull it back out like that. So you wanna keep your film basically in the same spot. You don't wanna pull it so there's a bunch of water rushing into the top or a bunch of air. You just wanna keep it in place, pull out the liner. We're gonna take the shank, we're gonna tuck in that bottom corner right there as much as we can and then it starts running into this bottom seal. Then this corner, pull this back, tuck this over, and then we're gonna use this little ripple or on this side, either one's fine. You're gonna use that and you're gonna pick up the film and watch how that just nicely lifts and you got that ripple that's higher now. So now you can pull back that film and because you started these corners, it just holds the tint right above exactly where you need to go. That way you can just finesse it into the bottom seal, right like that. Zippity doo dah. Squeegee, Yay. squeegee it straight down and then out. So you kind of go like down at an outward angle because you're trying to give the film all the chance to like evenly spread out over the window. Don't start here, go there and slam everything into the center, you'll cause fingers. Center and stretch it out. And then you'll minimize stuff. Even if you get small fingers, you usually can get them to, to iron out as you spread it wide. So then try edge again. I'll start here, go down, and you can just make one continuous sweep. But when you do these sweeps, don't just like push it right up to the seal. Go deep, very deep. So go far past it, sweep all that water well past the edge. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna peel this back, wipe off waters, pull tape. Look, look at that, rubber seals, still dirt. Still dirty, yuck. I'm gonna wipe off the rest of the window probably grab a fresh towel so we can see it even better. This one looks fine. Why not? Looking good. A little spritz. Dropping things. Check for little folds right here. So we got one small one. Always put some pressure. It's gone, cool. If it didn't go away, then we would put a little bit of heat in here till it warms up the inside, and then you can press that out. Anything around the edges you can touch up pretty easily. Looking good. Let me know if you got any questions.